We have two Hamilton High School students with us today, Josh, Josh Shaney and Sydney Higgins. Uh, Ms. Higgins is the daughter of our member, Sean, and uh, her mom, Lori, who are with us here also. So please come forward. Okay, so I'm Sydney Higgins. I'm a senior at Hamilton High School. Um, I'd like to thank Mr. Wilhelm for asking me to come and speak to you guys. Um, but I would really like to thank Rotary in general. Um, I have heard the name, or I've heard the word Rotary since I was about eight years old because I've been doing Rotary musicals since I was eight years old. So I'm sure all of you have seen me as a child, and now I'm here. So, um, <laughs> so yeah, I just want to thank you guys for being a part of my life, even if you didn't know you were. And um, come see Shrek, because I'm Fiona. So there's my plug. <laughs> yeah, so I hope to see you all there. But um, so when I was asked to speak here, I noticed that, you're, that the motto for Rotary is service above self. And I thought that was really cool. And um, so I kind of wanted to base what I was going to talk about, about the high school, about service. And so I looked up the definition of service. It is the action of helping or doing work for someone. And one of the synonyms I really liked was a helping hand. So um, I just, when I sat down and thought about service at my high school, I just realized that there was so much service that we didn't even realize was service, whether that be helping our students and our faculty and just serving each other every day. So I just wanted to share with you a few activities that I do that involve some service. So um, I am vice president of student council and um, they serve the high school every single day with um, working with homecoming and they give out scholarships and they um, this week are doing no one eats alone week which is basically um, just kind of a way to serve each other and love each other and make sure that nobody feels alone at lunch. So that the goal is to have people come and make sure nobody's sitting alone. So they ask them to eat with them or go sit with them and eat. Just so that, yeah, we're, people are paying attention to students academically, but also just like socially and emotionally, because I think that's so important. So I really enjoy that. Um, another thing I'm involved in is Big Blue Company, which is our drama club. Um, I am one of the co-presidents of that, and one of the service projects that we do is we perform for children at the Lane Public Library, and um, I love this project. I think it's so cool. I haven't done it yet because I'm doing Trek, so I'm just so busy, but um, it's just we basically practice every Sunday, and they... Um, they take a story. I think the next one's Alice in Wonderland. I'm not sure. But uh, they take the story, and there's somebody reads the story, and then the cast acts it out in front of children. So I think I really enjoy that because um, it's a way for us to perform outside of our high school. Rather than having the community come in and see our shows, which is always amazing, it's great to know that we can reach out and just do it ourselves and know that it's going to work out. So um, then the next thing I'm in is Rhapsody and Blue Show Choir. And I'm sure you've seen me perform the past three years. So there's that. But um, we, we do Christmas shows, and we obviously perform at Rotary. But we also perform for nursing homes. And that's one of my favorite things about the Christmas season is because they appreciate it so much. And we're not necessarily giving them anything as a service, but we're just showing them happiness and joy and showing them what we love to do. And hopefully that makes them a little bit happier and makes their season a little bit better for Christmas um, and then I'm also involved in media journalism and that is a class where we do our daily video announcements so instead of having it on the intercom just reading the announcements we videotape it kind of like a newscast kind of thing and um, that's another class where we can make commercials or short films and one of our administrators brought to me and my teacher Mr. Neary um, blue to you and that's basically we wanted to feature all the good that happens at the high school that goes unseen. So we feature faculty members and students, and I think that's so cool because we see all the exceptional people and activities that happen at our high school that people don't normally get to hear. So we do that, and I host that, and it's so much fun, and Mr. Neary is amazing. Um, and then the last thing I want to talk about is that um, I love that Hamilton High School allows us to bring service to the high school. And by that, I mean sophomore year, my mom brought to me this um, 
nonprofit organization called Shoes for Hope, which is based off of Missions in Motion. And basically they, uh, there's a paper, my dad put them, papers on there if you wanna see them. Uh, and so basically um, <clears throat> they take shoes of any size, kind, or condition and send them to third world countries to people who don't need them. And I thought it was such a cool project because it was something that we take so for granted because I know, at least in my house, we all have a pair of shoes that we haven't worn for decades or something. And it's just kind of like, <laughs> So it's like we have shoes and we have things, even if it's one, one singular shoe, they take them. And so I figured that was something that was so easy and so simple. And so I've been, Mr. Lice, my sophomore year, allowed me to do it. And then Mr. Wilhelm has been letting me continue it junior and senior year. And I've collected, I think we're getting to 3,000 pairs of shoes. So I've collected up to that. Oh, thanks. <laughs> And so, yeah, so if you want to learn more about that, there are papers on the table. But um, yeah, that's one thing that I love is that I can bring something that I'm passionate about and I think is amazing to the high school and the high school's willingly just letting us do it. So yeah, there's a giant bin in the high school that shoes will be in soon. So um, last thing I want to say is that I am a citizen of Hamilton, but right now my community is the high school and the students. And I think that's so cool that we can serve each other the way a community does service but just in a smaller scale so that when we graduate and we do leave, we learn how to do it outside and in the real world. So, yeah, thank you. Hello, can everyone hear me okay? All right. So, well, good morning. Well, I guess it's afternoon. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Josh Rashaney. First off, I would like to thank the Rotary for having me today. I remember back in sixth grade, just uh, going back to what you guys were just talking about, the sixth grade science fair uh, with Miss Christian. I'm not sure if she's still in here. I saw her earlier. Um, it was. I always had a great time uh, going to that. I went um, again eighth grade year, and it was great. Just you know, having you know something I worked on for so long, having someone come and tell me that I did a great job, and it was really rewarding. And it was a great experience to have. Um, for a 12-year-old especially. So I want to thank all of you again for all the opportunities you've given to the youth of Hamilton. And as a fourth generation Hamiltonian, I thank you on behalf of my father, grandfather, and great-grandfather for making the city of Hamilton what it is today. Now I've been going to Hamilton City Schools for 13 years now, starting all the way back at Fillmore Elementary, then Wilson Middle School, Hamilton Freshman School, and now Hamilton High. I'm a senior with a 4.2 GPA and ranked 16th in our class. I have thoroughly enjoyed my education at Hamilton City Schools. Uh, I attribute my academic success to the staff of the Hamilton City School District. They have encouraged me to reach beyond what I thought I could accomplish and inspired me to do the same for others. In preparing for this speech, uh, I created a list of all the educators that have inspired me along the way. Now, as you can see, this is a very, very long list. So I decided just to pick a couple and highlight some of the experiences I had with them. Um, last year, I had a teacher, Mr. Jeff Simpson, teaching me in uh, AP English Language and Composition. Um, he's one of those teachers that just genuinely cares about each individual student. I, in fact, walked into his class today uh, to talk to him before I came here, and he was you know, having individual meetings with his students about papers they had just written. Um, Miss, Miss Sharon Palachi, uh, I had her for Honor Spanish 3. She's one of the most sweetest and most understanding teachers I've ever had. Uh, Mr. Matt Eaton, I had him for AP Physics 1 and 2 this year. Um, he's one of those teachers that just pushes you past your preconceived learning levels. And as you can see with physics, that's a pretty difficult subject. So that's something that's really important for a teacher like that to have. Uh, Mr. Matt Marley is my AP government teacher. Uh, he's like. You know, government can be a fairly boring topic at, at times, but he is such an engaging teacher, I've never not enjoyed his class. Miss Suzanne Gill, I've had have her for AP Literature and Composition. Uh, her love for literature is so contagious. She's, you know, taught me and kind of brought back my, uh, my love for reading and taught me that reading is not just, you know, schoolwork, what you're doing for school, that it really is important to, you know, our culture um, as, you know, Americans and even, you know, even more, more so in Ohioans and, and Hamiltonians as well. And then uh, 
Mr. David Knapp, I had him freshman year for uh, Honors Physical Science, I believe the class was called. And thanks to him, um, I am graduating having taken six science classes, which is double the uh, requirement to graduate. So, um, And then last but not least, Mr. Rex Bukite and Mr. John Wilhelm. Wilhelm. Uh, they have were principals for me at Fillmore Elementary and Hamilton High School now. And their love for uh, and support for their uh, students and staff of their respective schools is just unparalleled and I've enjoyed uh, my time with them greatly. And because of these inspiring men and women I've decided to become an educator myself. Specifically I plan to major in music education. Ever since fifth grade the trombone and music in general has been my passion. I'm extremely thankful for the Fine Arts Department here in the Hamilton, Hamilton City School Districts. I've been a part of various music groups within the high school culminating with being appointed the field captain of our marching band this past year. Uh, I've also been part of many ensembles within the city, region, and state, most recently with the College Conservatory of Music Preparatory Department of the University of Cincinnati. Uh, music has been a major part of my life, life for the past seven years. I absolutely love the fine arts program at the high school, from plays to musicals to show choir to marching band to jazz band to orchestra to live wire, etc. There's so many different opportunities for students to have. Um, and they provide a much needed outlet for students, especially you know when you're bogged down with AP classes and homework and all this. You know, it's great to have something you can you know, you know portray what you want to do. Um, and some kind of art. It's greatly appreciated. And I know that personally the staff I've worked with at HHS in the Fine Arts Department specifically have had a, a direct positive impact on my life. So here are just a few names. Mr. Patrick Naylor, Mr. Paul Dixon, Mr. Jacob Gibson, Mr. James Ledbetter, Mr. Garrett Smith as a student teacher, and Ms. Terry McKee. And once again, I even have more names listed on here, but I feel like I'd be, uh, I'm already rambling on a little bit. I've just decided not to ramble on, you know, read a whole bunch of names to you. So I can proudly say that these wonderful men and women have greatly inspired me to pursue a music education degree. Their passion to teach and love for music is unparalleled and it has been a pleasure of mine to work with them uh, for the past several, year, several years. I plan to pick up the torch and continue to, spread, to continue to spread the passion of music onto the next generation. Thank you all for having me again. Thank you, Sydney and Joshua. Very inspiring.